Well, I have to come back with a response, don't I? So, here goes. I never thought until a few days ago how much better I was than my um, ex's current partner. And now I realise I'm so much better. What an immature, spoiled little brat he is. Um, I thought she would move on to someone better, but damn did she go back. Uh, not only he's a fat fuck that is so immature, but he's really just immature. I mean, uh, talking like he's in school, like childish words like calling people little bitches and calling people faggots and wanting to beat people up. This is what my uh, soon, to, soon to be ex is now dating. Um, wow, she really dropped the ball with him, eh? Yeah, I, I thought when she moved on she would find someone decent. Um, someone a lot better than me, but he's not better in any way than me. Um, not because he's a fat fuck, but the fact that um, he talks like a baby, he talks like a spoiled little child, and the fact that he he threatens not just me, but one of my female friends, and he doesn't even know. Um, the way he talked to her was derogatory and disgusting, and my ex wants him. So she, wants, she wants someone that's mentally pretty much like her, so I wouldn't call them adults, I'd call them spoiled little kids. I thought this guy was actually going to be a, a babysitter, but now I just realise he's a baby himself. Wow, he calls people little bitches and fucking faggots and all that. What the fuck, really? That's her boyfriend? Jeez. I mean, I, I, I use the word little man. He must be a little man, if you know what I mean. Just the fact that he wants to confront me and, you know, meet me face to face and start a fight with me. Um, if you're a mature person, you wouldn't uh, talk like that, and you wouldn't be using the words you use, so, hmm, big man, you know when people act like that means they got small dicks, so they have to be big about something, so, not only he's a fat piece of shit, but it looks like he's an immature piece of shit too, so, wow, she really dropped the ball with him, he's a bum, he's got nothing, doesn't even own his own house, doesn't even have a decent car, He's got nothing. And I'm a fucking certified millionaire. Fuck you, you little cunt. Yeah, I, I, I can open my mouth too. The fact that you threaten me because you're having a cry because you didn't like what you heard about yourself. Man, that's, that's a big man. Really. Starting a fight with someone you don't even know anything about. And the fact you act like a child with your words. Like, you remind me of a fat little version of Donald Trump at fucking three, four years old. I want this, I want that. Mate, have your fucking lollipop and stick it down your throat, mate. Seriously. You know, people don't use the word faggot or fucking little bitch. I mean, you're making threats over a fucking computer, man. Like, it takes a big man to admit that. You've got nothing. And you know you'll never be happy and you know you don't love her. So the difference between me and you, you piece of shit, I at least love her and care about her. You don't. You're just putting her life by her parents and you know what you're getting paid and you know that, you know, you're doing their dirty work. Congratulations. Isn't it good to be a mule? Or a prawn in their game? You'll never be happy that either of you, because you play off each other. It's not love, it's not a relationship, it's just fucking pathetic and sad. I've never, in a long time, thought that, you know, you'd be happy. He, both of you are not happy. You know, I think there's one thing that, um, the difference between me and you, because I now, now I know that you watch my vids, you wish you had everything I had. You wish I was the, you wish you were the person that I am. You can't satisfy her in a lot of ways. And that's what pisses you off. You know that I'm always going to be part of her life and you can't accept that. You know that until the day I die there's nothing you can do. And it eats you up inside because you know how much I'm right and you know that you can't ever be as good as me. It sucks to be you. But 
you gotta lie in your bed and you gotta smell the shit that's under the covers. So next time you're in bed and you look under the covers and you see what's next to you, that was your choice, mate. That was your choice. But when you make threats, you do realise everything is recorded. I'd advise you to walk away, tuck your head in between your ass cheeks, and don't start. But I don't make threats, because I'm a better person than you. You make threats because you want to be a big shot. You're not scary, mate. You're fat. You got no muscle, you're fat, you're bold. You're not terrifying one bit. And the way you treat women is disgusting. Oh, and I know who you dated before you started dating my ex. <coughs> and I've got stories I could say about you too, mate. You're not a very nice man. You've cheated on a couple of your exes. I'm sure that you're current girlfriend now didn't know that you've cheated before multiple times and I bet you haven't told my ex that you've you physically touched a girl before and, and, and abused a girl but she doesn't know that does she see two can play at this game asshole you don't realize how many people I have in contact with you in your past I did my research too. So you're no better than me. The only difference is I never cheated on the person you're with now. And judging by um, the other stuff I've been told about you, I wouldn't be surprised there's another girl on the side right now. Let's see if you're ashamed to show your Facebook messages to your partner. Because I wouldn't be surprised if you've deleted all the female messages and only kept the male ones. Hmm, I don't know how your game plays. Because you've done it before. Where's your criminal history? I'm sure you got a long list bigger than mine. As for security? Hmm. You're not doing too well in that department, are you, mate? You maybe do... Whether you're security now or not security, I'm not going to tell people your personal life in that part. But certainly you don't look like a security guard. So I'm just saying, be careful what you say, because I know about you more than she knows about you. And if she knows that you were a woman basher yourself, and you open your mouth, because I know, I read the conversation you sent to a female friend that was talking to your current partner. Big man, you ripped into a woman. You didn't have the guts to rip into me, but you ripped into one of my female friends. You're such a big man for that. That just shows how immature you are. Calling women bitches. Calling guys faggots. Calling guys little bitches. I'm sorry, but that's not how adults talk. And that's the way you want to talk. I'm telling you, walk away and don't hurt her. If you don't love her and don't want to be with her, then tell her the fucking truth. Because she deserves to know the truth and what you play behind her back. At least I've always been outspoken and told it like it is when it comes to her. But you and her family haven't. <clears throat> you're a selfish prick for what you're doing to her. You don't love her. And I think that's wrong. Because she deserves to be loved. She deserves to be treated. She deserves to have her marriage and kids in her own house. And you know you can't provide that. And you don't want to provide that. You're just a prawn in this game of chess. Well, checkmate, asshole. Checkmate. Because one day, whether you like it or not, she'll find out the truth about what you're doing behind her back and what her family's doing behind her back. And I'll be here to rescue her. Because at least I'm decent and tell it like it is. I'd never lie to her. But you do. Maybe you should tell her about the fact that you have cheated on girls before. Maybe you should tell the fact that you've laid a finger on a woman before. <clears throat> Don't act like you're a hero, mate. Don't act like you're a saint. Because it's not fair on her. I don't know why she gave you a chance this year, to be honest. I really don't. But she can do better than you. But you're just some big fat prick that fucking thinks, you know, 
what you're saying. Because if she only read some of the conversations you have with other people, she'd be like, what the fuck? The poor girl cannot cut a break. It's because people like you and her family don't give her a chance. And I think that's wrong. See, I have beautiful friends that are like family to me. And I stick up for them. But at the same time, I don't sugarcoat things. I tell it like it is. But you, you lie to your own partner. Between her family and you, you all lie to her. That's so selfish. Relationships, mate, are supposed to be about trust. And never hiding things. That's what a relationship's about. You're supposed to be an adult. But the way you act is like two childs. You're not a security guard. Mentally, you're a young kid that fucking has had his lollipop stolen from him and you want, want it back. <clears throat> so I'm saying you this. Back off. Leave my friends alone. Leave me alone. But most importantly, stop playing games with her. Stop pretending you love, love her and have feelings for her. No. Because last time I checked, neither of you are on each other's profile pics. Interesting, eh? And last time I checked, you didn't like anything she's posted either. And there's nothing on your Facebook about her. So what are you hiding, you two? You're supposed to be in a relationship, but from the outside world, that's not a relationship, what you guys have. So why continue this charade and be mature adults. You go your way, she comes back here. I'm telling you this because I've never faked who I've been for a year. I've showed nothing but love and compassion for someone that I shouldn't have been with. I bettered myself in so many ways. I'm everything she's ever wanted in a guy. Good body, fit, healthy, Rich? Money? What do you got, mate? Nothing. You wish you could be the guy that I was. And like I said, with the five, six videos of me and her in the act, oh, you could only see what she could do that she doesn't do with you. Oh, oh. I got vids to prove that. And some of the photos that I'm sure that you'd want nobody to see that I could just accidentally show I won't because I respect her unlike you the piece of shit that doesn't respect her I actually do because women should be treated with dignity and respect love and compassion never lied to never hide anything from but you do you're worse than me I have no criminal convictions what about you mate hmm don't think you can uh, say that, can you? No. And I guess living in the area you live in hmm, goes to show she doesn't love you either. You're not her type of guy. You're just there because you've been put there. It's like a game. Every piece, you know, is important on that board if you play chess. But when I come along and go checkmate, it ruins all your little plans. I'm always moves ahead of you. I know more about you than you know about me. So I've made this vid to say enough's enough. Grow up, be a man, let her go, and let her do whatever she wants in life. Don't control her life. If you can't provide for her, and you can't let her grow up, then do the right thing. Give her to someone that will love and care about her for the rest of her life. Give her a job. Get her a license. Let her travel. Have nice jewelry. Have nice things. Have her own house. If you can't do those things for her, then don't be with her. And don't cheat on her either. Just a little heads up. Because I know, I know a little bit more about stuff than you, mate. Now, you were saying you wanted to confront me. Well, you're lucky I didn't report that to the cops because that's a threat. But, 
I'll tell you what I'd do. We have a mutual friend. You know who he is. You want to pass anything on? Do it for our mutual friend. And maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement or conclusion. But be mature about it. There's no need for childish words like little bitch and faggot. Come on, you're an adult. Don't t act like one. Don't talk like that. I have no time for people who want to be babies. And you're acting like a really big baby. And I know what my ex would say to that. If you think you've replaced me, you haven't. You never will. And it eats you up inside. You hate that I'm better than you in every single way. You wish you had a decent body. You wish you weren't bold. You wish you didn't look like a fat baby. You want to be a man. Let her go. Go find somebody else. And let her be with someone that will love and treat her right for the rest of her life. Because you're not no better than me. The difference is you have a conviction, I don't. You have cheated, I haven't. You have beaten someone up before, I haven't. Big difference, mate. So thank you all for watching. Um, uh, the next video will be um, happy birthday to my ex. I made that uh, a few weeks ago um, before all these vids, so you'll see that next. And uh, word of advice to anyone watching, relationships about two people. It's about honesty, it's about trust, and not hiding things. And if you do that, you're not meant to be in a relationship. See ya.